now we have this problem which of the following polynomials should be added to the polynomial p of x to make it divisible by x plus 9 so uh, we need to recognize that it is not necessary that there's only one polynomial that you add because since it's only divisibility we can add a number of polynomials to p of x and make it divisible by x plus 9 so we have to check for each of these cases so let's see or what we can additionally do is we can look at the remainder that we get by dividing p of x with this and then see what to do with that remainder so if we did the division now we have 2x cube plus 23x square plus 40x and we're dividing it with x plus 9 so start with 2x square so we get 2x cube plus 18x square so let's guess all of this gives us 5x square plus 40x so we do plus 5x additionally and then we get 5x square plus 45x so negative and negative so we are left with minus 5x and then that gives us a minus 5 additionally here so we have minus 5x minus 45 and therefore these to go off and we are left with 45 as our remainder so p of x is essentially x plus 9 into the quotient plus 45 so if we subtracted 45 from p of x we will get divisibility by x plus 9 so b is necessarily correct let's look at what happens if we added a if we added a p of x plus 2x square plus 9x is some multiple of some product of x plus 9 and some quadratic plus 2x square plus 9x plus 45 so unless 2x square plus 9x plus 45 is divisible by x plus 9 p of x won't be divisible by x plus 9 so what we should really be checking is 2x square plus 9x plus 45 is it divisible by x plus 9 and the direct way to check it is to substitute x is equal to minus 9 so you'll get 2 into 81 plus 9 into minus 9 plus 45 is equal to 162 minus 81 plus 45 which is greater than 0 it's not equal to 0 so no a doesn't give us divisibility by x plus 9 what happens if we added 5x we get 5x plus 45 so we have this 45 remainder right so we are getting 5x plus 45 which is equal to 5 times x plus 9 which is directly divisible by x plus 9 so this is correct too c is also correct and what happens if we added x square minus 126 then we would get x square minus 126 plus 45 uh, as the additional part aside from x plus 9 into that quadratic so this is equal to x square minus 81 which is equal to x plus 9 into x minus 9 so yeah x plus 9 is dividing this particular polynomial so yeah we can add x square minus 26 minus 126 also and get divisibility by x plus 9.